In this video, I'm gonna be telling you the pros and cons of living in Byron Center. It's a great town, and I actually have a special guest with me again, and you guys know who it is. It's this guy. It's Adam. How we doing? <laughs> um, this is what I wanna do. I wanna get into the pros and cons with Adam, who actually lives here. So that's coming up right now. For things to do and sites to see, you're watching Live Great TV, and I'm your host with Adam Bergsma. My name's Vaughn Greathouse. Hey, I love making these videos, so if you wanna know more about the Grand Rapids and the surrounding areas, make sure you hit that subscribe button, tap that notification bell, because I love helping people make that move over to Grand Rapids, and it's just, it's a pleasure of mine, and Adam, we get to work with you guys on a regular basis. So that name and that number coming across your screen is our direct contact info. You can get a hold of us anytime, and with that being said, let's get into the video. All right, you guys, so I'm back with Adam, and since our last video, Adam has actually transitioned from Rockford to Byron Center, and overall, I think I asked you this earlier, but like, yeah. how do you like living in Byron Center um, yeah. now that you're here? I mean, it, Byron Center is a great area. There's lots to do. Um, in terms of location, it's much nicer than Rockford in the sense if you want to be close to the city. Okay. Right? Rockford's a really nice town. I love it over there. Um, but everything is a lot closer to the inner, inner city, but you also have a little bit of distance out still. Okay. About 15 minute drive, jump right on the highway, and you can be downtown 10, 15 minutes. Okay, cool. So that is a huge plus. Plus with the highways right here, you have M6 um, going east to west and 131 north and south. Yeah. You're right at the intersection of that and Byron Center, just okay. southwest of it. So you can pretty much get anywhere um, on the west side super quick. Okay, so the location is definitely gonna be a pro. Yeah. I like Byron Center, It's it, it gives, a lot of the homes out here are nicer for one, so mm -hmm. you definitely have a higher price point yeah. in the area. There's a lot of homes that are on the water. You got, I mean, you gotta live on the water, so as you can see, like, there's a ton of wildlife, herons and cranes and things like that. So you get that yep. wildlife, that country, you're not too far from the city, not too far from downtown. Right. Uh, the median price of a home out here is around 400, 450. Uh, that's pretty much what average is. And it's a great area. I mean, you can get a good house built, you can get a big piece of property out here. Yeah. It's overall, I like it a lot. Yeah, and there's lots to choose from too in terms of the properties because you have a lot of new developments right now, okay. which is sweet. And, and they're a little on the pricier side. They're pretty nice homes, but you also have a lot of the older neighborhoods that are still around. Oh, so you have a lot of different variety in terms of what your home is gonna look like. Okay, so style of homes. Yeah. What I will say is like a con yeah. is definitely gonna be the downtown isn't that big. No. It's not. No, it, it's quite small. It's nice. I mean, it's a little boutique, boutique, cutesy, yeah. quaint town, you yeah. could say, but mm -hmm. it ain't nothing big and special to yeah. get all hype about. Yeah. But if you like that small town vibe. Another thing that is a pro here that I know from just hearing, you know, word of mouth and just knowing more about schools. I've, I don't have any high schoolers in high school, but yeah. it's going to be the education system in Byron Center schools. Definitely. Um, what do you know about that? Do you know anything about them, or is I mean, you know, I mean, the kids or yeah, I don't have any kids, but, <laughs> but the school the school district is top of the line. Uh -huh. Great education, K through 12. The Byron High School is actually right down the road, uh, which we got some footage of. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's a good school. Yeah. So, a lot of people who who come out here. I mean, as far as like even in high school growing up, I yeah. knew a lot of the Byron Center football games, like they, as far as their athletics, their academics, mm -hmm. everything about the school system is just really cool in Byron Center. So it's definitely gonna be a pro of, right. of living. Of and keep in Center. mind when you're, when you're looking at different areas to buy, um, and we're talking about school districts and yeah. why like, oh, this is a great area to be in. Even if you don't have kids, it's still a great area to be in because okay. you know when you're in a good school district, that those values and the homes are gonna stick and they're gonna oh. keep on appreciating. So even if you don't have kids, it still does make a difference 
in your mindset of what you're looking at because you know your values there. Yeah, and that's that's definitely a highlight. Uh, knowing people who live in the area, they buy their house typically. They're selling it for a little bit more than what they got it for. So mm -hmm. the saleability in this area is also another huge pro, along with living in Byron Center and having that country mm -hmm. slash city, you know, easy access to that. It does grow fast and the demand is very high here so homes right. do not sit on the market long even mm -hmm. when you were looking to right. be in the area we literally had to stay on it like a hawk and as it came about we, we you know we got a game plan and get out here but yeah they do, especially houses on the water they don't come up fast and that's a huge con the huge con is that it is growing really really fast Right. and it's competitive so yeah if you're wanting to get out here to byron center keep your eye on it make that move when the timing's right right and i mean you're gonna end up you may end up in a bidding war but you may not but at the same time if you're ready to go when the time comes and opportunity comes yeah you definitely can get a good a good deal of a home out here yep. so for sure yeah there are a lot of new developments going up so if you don't like a lot of change mm. going on you might not want to be in this area just specifically because of that. Okay. Um, but along with the new development, that also leads to the kind of affordability. Okay. Because a lot of prices are going up and everyone yeah. knows prices are going up everywhere. And Byron Center is no different. Yeah. But with the medium household, you know, being around the four hundred, mm -hmm. five hundred thousand dollar range, mm -hmm. just changes the affordability for people, yeah. what you're looking for, especially if it's gonna be your first time home or your retirement home, or it just depends on what you're looking yeah, for. Yeah, absolutely. And the good thing about it is here too, is that when you're making those improvements, knowing that you're in an environment where you can make those improvements in confidence that you'll yeah. be able to recoup those funds, because I've, I've definitely dealt with people who've overspent in their house and expected to get it all back didn't end up getting it back but out here right, right. it's not that big of a problem so right that's definitely a, a perk too so yep. yeah entertainment so there's a lot to do around here they actually have a go-kart track in ah. Barry center for adults um they actually go like i don't know 30 miles an hour they're, they're fast they, they go yeah. super quick and it's a lot of fun and that's right next door to the tanger outlets yes okay so that's a little outdoor mall outlet they have j crew adidas h&m's H there H&M, under armor a bunch of shops mm -hmm. for food they have pizza and all that types of stuff auntie ann's yep everyone loves those pretzels <laughs> i love me a good pretzel <laughs> so there's a lot to do um in terms of just being able to go around and and see the different areas and spend an afternoon at, at an outlet mall mm -hmm. or you jump on 131 which tanger outlets is sitting on and you're downtown grand rapids in 10 minutes yeah it's it's freakishly close to everything yeah. but when you come out here you don't feel like you're anywhere near grand rapids which is a huge perk for people who don't want to be crowded or feel tight they want their own space mm -hmm. they want their own yard and whatnot or if they want a lake house a lot of houses are on the lake uh, or little ponds you know things mm -hmm. like that they have different all sports lakes they have no wake lakes there's just a lot of really good things when it comes to uh living out here yeah. a lot of people who live in byron center they just like to do their own thing i think that the people here they're definitely very friendly mm -hmm. you can definitely enjoy your neighbors i mean you met your are you are you guys good friends i mean have you met your neighbors yeah, yeah, like yep. that? yeah so there's a lot of really good people out here it's just some people if some people want to be away and they want to be far out they want mm -hmm. some land you can get that if you want to be close to some you know in a nice little community or an association and be able to get on the water you know this is also a really great place for that so byron center is its own personality like when yeah. you when you come visit you feel a sense of home and it does kind of give me like an older like an older type feeling but like a rustic like a yeah. made new feeling so it's like an older town but they they're renewing it and rejuvenating a lot of yeah. what's going on in the area right. you have a nice little meat shop downtown mm -hmm. you got a cool little like hole in the wall bars that you can kind of hang with the locals and they got whatnot the nice ice cream shop down there mm -hmm. uh, and the, oh yeah and we went by the facility there's what is the community, community center. center that's yeah. right so the community center is a place we went to visit they had where well, they have basketball a basketball Baseball, court basketball course they got full gym upstairs full gym with a track, track. Yep, yep that's right they have three weights they got ping pong ping pong 
Yeah. It's a it was an awesome it was they have a little library in there. It yeah. was a little coffee shop. So the community center was awesome time us going out there to check it out. Super friendly staff. We had a really enjoyable time just going through and just seeing what what it was all about right near the high school. So mm -hmm. it's really boutique, really a great place to like it's very walkable you can do lots of things like that go see nature if you want to go bird watching you can sit right outside your window and bird watch from there you right, know what i mean right, right. all right you guys that's it that's the video the pros and cons of living in byron center from a true native here who lives here now uh he'll definitely be able to help you adam bergsma again for things to do and sites to see this is live great tv i'm your host to live in great and grand rapids and the west michigan area and i'm adam bergsma for that, we will see you guys on the next video. Again, if you need to have any questions or concerns, hit that subscribe button, tap that notification bell, that name and number coming across your screen is our direct contact info, so mm -hmm. feel free to reach out. We're more than happy to help you. We're the ones who answer the phone. So again, until next time, we'll see you on the next video.